What is up, guys? Today we're going to be following up on the Cha Cha. Uh, this is actually the third installment of all the Cha Chas. I, I posted a Cha Cha a long time ago, and then I just posted um, a Cha Cha with a backbeat. This is going to be advanced Cha Cha with a backbeat, and it just gets a little bit busier. Now, the important thing to remember is if you can't keep the groove steady, if you can't keep it feeling good, if you can't keep people dancing, don't play it. That's my motto, man. If you're on a gig and people aren't dancing, guess whose fault it is? A guy with two thumbs. You. You. It's your fault, okay? It's not the bass player's fault. It's not the percussion player's fault. It's not the singer's fault. Guitar player, it's your fault. At least that's the way I always see it. If I'm playing well and I'm grooving, those people should be out there moving. They should be tapping their feet. They should be dancing. So that's what you're going for. I pick one person out in the crowd, and I'm like, you, man, I'm going to make you move. Uh, yeah, it doesn't always work. But whenever I was playing in clubs on Bourbon Street, that's exactly what I would do. I would pick out a person. I'd be like, I'm going to make that person move before they get out of here. And most of the time, I could make it happen. But if you find that people stop moving or you feel the groove is suffering because you're trying to do something fancier, stop it. Okay? This is a situation where you're not going to have any percussionists and you're the only one playing all the parts. So if you watch the last video, it's a two bar loop. We are going to have the, uh, the hi hat on all four. So one, two, three. Four. Uh, cha cha bell is also going to be on all four until we make a variation of that. The kick drum is going to play one, two, and three, four, and in the first bar. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and the second bar, the, the kick pattern gets a little bit harder. So it's going to go one e and a. Uh, one E and a. Uh. Excuse me, there's something down there. It was bothering my foot. One E and a uh, two and three and four. One E and a uh, two and three and four. One E and a uh, two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One E and a uh, two and three and four. One E and a uh, two. Four both together, one and two and three, four and one and a two and three and four, one and two and three, four and one and a two and three and four. Let me play that. Now, we have those down. The only thing we need to get is the left hand. Again, we're gonna be hitting back beats. So the first measure, if you watched the last video, is actually gonna be the same, with the only variation being the upbeat of the four you're gonna play on the kick drum. It's the same pattern here as it was in the last one. So it's gonna be one, two, pack, four and, one, two, rim click, three, snare, four and on the tom. The second measure, that's where it gets hairy. So you've got this syncopated thing going on in the kick drum. And what you're gonna do is the rim click is gonna play two sets of real quick 16th notes. 16th notes. I can't speak today. Uh, all day, all day I haven't been able to talk. Uh, it's gonna go one E and, one E and, one E and, one E and, one e and kick drum. One E and then the kick drum comes back on the uh four and then two more hits here on two E. One E and a two E and one E and a two E and one E and a two E and now the backbeat's gonna come on three and four and on the tom. So it'll sound like this. One E and a two E and three and four and
is an advanced cha-cha groove uh, with a backbeat. Now, the only other thing you can do is actually add the one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, accenting one and three in the right hand. I'll show you that. And that's it, that's the groove. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit with a metronome, kind of show you how it grooves there, and then we're done. advanced cha-cha with a backbeat. You can check the other one out on the YouTube channel. I have the original cha-cha lesson for sale in stevensdrumshed.com. There's a video section where you can get downloads for super cheap. Uh, we've got the live lessons. We've been killing it, man. Linear fills, the soca, getting around the drum set is as next next uh, the next topic to, to do, and I'm really enjoying this, man. I love teaching you guys. I love talking to you guys. So shoot me a line at steven at stevensdrumshed.com or just check out the site. Come chat with me on Facebook, whatever. I'm around, guys. We'll talk to you soon.